Hello, welcome to the Hour of Feeding on Jesus, your daily grace inspiration message on feeding on Jesus. The Bible verse for meditation is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 22, verse 22. Our theme for the year. The key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulder, so he shall open, and no one shall shut, and he shall shut, and no one shall shall open. I will read that again. I lay the key of the house of David. I will lay on his shoulder so he shall open and no one shall shut and he shall shut and no one shall open. Amen. A team, powerful team for the year 2020 on feeding on Jesus. The team again for today and for the year is God opens doors that no one can shut. Amen? Amen. Brethren, God sometimes may seem late, but is always on time. This year is a blessed year. The feeding on Jesus platform is a universal one, but the word of God binds us all together. Feeding on Jesus has a specific theme for 2020, and the theme is God opens doors that no one can shut. Amen? Amen. In a world with so much hatred, bitterness, strife, trouble, you can find someone perfectly holy. You can rest in Jesus' perfection. Isaiah 22, 22 says, Jesus holds the key of the house of David. A year of open doors, he, when he shut the doors that no one can open. And God will shut all doors that will harm you this year. Parental challenges, the door shuts. He will bring us through the trial with victory in the year 2020. We are under praising, thanking, and worshiping God. Thank God for harm. We don't know of that he keeps us from. We are thanking God for all the harms that he delivered us from that we didn't know of. This year, our spiritual doors are opened. We will step in a place of promotion, a place we can do more to a brand new life. When God opens the door, no opposition can shut it. Adam and Eve brought death into this world when first sinned against God. There was a time when we, when, the world was a place where people would never grow old or sick. But Adam bowed his knee to Satan, and the latter brought in sin, aging, diseases, and death. Hebrews 2 said, Devil had power on earth, not past tense, had. So now, who has it? Who has the power? The book of Revelation 1, 16 and 18 says, Jesus holds the black sledding in, the, his, in his hand. Verse 18 says, Jesus has a key of hell and of death. Jesus said, don't be afraid, telling believers not to be afraid of the world because he has the keys. A key that when he turn on or in, nothing can send out to hell nothing can send you out to hell because his blood is forever we are saved in his blood god will never force his blessings on us remember that god has all the keys keys of hell and keys of death key of david which opens doors unto us if you feel you are struggling with a doubt and unbelief i pray that god opens the door of faith to you this year don't just smash through doors. Remember, God has the keys. So don't just smash through them. Let God open the door. If God doesn't open the door, no one can break it down. Neither you can break it down. If God doesn't open that door to you, we are so dependent on him. When God opens the door, there will be critics and opposers. However, an open door is one of favor but we will have adversary. Daniel and Joseph had adversary, but God delivers them out of their hands. At work, 
at home, you can pray that God will open for you the door of utterance. Don't utter out your canal wisdom. A few words will carry more weight than paragraphs and pages, not canal words. Brethren, God has the keys this year. A, a key that you used to open doors of opportunities and doors of blessings unto you. A key that when you will shut all harm, the doors of harms to you. But remember, don't go smashing doors because you cannot open the side doors if your carnal power is God. You can open them. We are independent of you. Amen. Remain blessed. Share this video and bless the soul. Thank you for staying tuned to your daily grace inspiration message on feeding on Jesus, YouTube feeding on Jesus, and click on the email address and get through with your prayer requests, your birthday celebrations and Thanksgiving prayers. Shalom. Bye-bye.